Oh goodness, ladies and gents, hello. I have not vlogged in months. <laughs> and I really wanted to kind of like bring it back. Oh! What in the world? There's like, why's my seat wet? I'm on the way to work right now. I didn't go to class today. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, my, my, my first teacher for my psychometrics class, she just had a baby. Hot, it's hot. We didn't have class all last week. She had like audio lectures, which I did not listen to. <sighs> you know how you like slow down at the finish line? That's what I'm feeling like right now. I'm just like, I'm so over this class. I was never under the class. <laughs> it felt good to try and sleep in. Um, I tried to sleep in until 10. It didn't work. I woke up around 8 or so. Oh, let me share with you guys. So I've been on like this weight loss journey, I guess you can call it. And on Friday, I hit my goal weight at, of 145. I started off at 160 and I've been at 160 for a, a little while. A little while. A little. What? What am I saying? A little while now and it was exciting to get to 145 so I hit that on Friday and I actually maintained it throughout the weekend which was crazy <laughs> don't know how I did that like I woke up this morning at 145.9 I was like wow almost missed it <laughs> Job. Get that leg up, Summer. Hey guys, so I'm at um, Leslie and Oki's place, my sister and her husband's apartment, babysitting the two kids while watching the Knife Knowles. I love watching their vlogs. Do they want to say hi? <laughs> you want to say hi? No? What do you watch on your iPad? What's that? Bucky up, bucky up, bucky up, bucky up, bucky up, bucky up, bucky up. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. In your arms I'll stay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see it again. Okay. In your arms, in your arms I'll stay. Yeah. Follow me. Here we go. Anything we have known, anything we forgot. In the rain, in the dark, we'll lay. In your arms, in your arms, I'll stay. Anything we have known. Hey guys, it's Tuesday now, and it's like the evening time. My day is pretty much done and I have a story to share with you guys oh my gosh today at work um, I decided to do two workouts today so I, I worked out before I went to work and I worked out again around like 10 30 whatever um, because I have an 11 o'clock client so I wanted to work out before I saw her so I'm on the treadmill I just finished up so I was kind of just like cooling down and she walks in and she hops on the elliptical next to me and I said hey how's it going she's like I'm good and I was like um, I said I'm just cooling down and she said okay so I got off the treadmill and I said I'll be right back because I wanted to kind of wipe my face down a bit and then we will start the session. I come back in um, after like five minutes or so while she was warming up and then I got some stuff set up and I said, more, let's let's go, let's get start. Cause her last name is More. So she kind of looked at me like, oh, okay. So then um, we got started or whatever and she was kind of slowing down because she said, she said, oh, I have a cold, sorry. I was like, oh no, you're fine. And she actually missed our last session last week, so I just, you know, thought maybe she missed it because she was sick. Anyway, the other my, the other trainer comes in the gym and he says, "Have you seen my 11 o'clock client?" And I said, "No." I said, "I saw her sign in because there's a sign in sheet." So I saw her name on the sheet, but I didn't actually see her. And then he was like, oh, "Okay." He comes in again as he's walking in. My client's walking out the gym. And he said, who was that girl? And I was like, oh, that's my client. And he was like, oh, okay. So he came back, he came back in the gym again after she came back in too. And I was like, 
is your client's name Ricky Edwards? And she was like, he was like, yeah. The girl who was standing next to me, who was supposedly my 11 o'clock client, said, that's me, I'm Ricky. And I was like, what? My 11 o'clock client looks just like this girl. So this whole time, it's been 20 minutes, this whole time I've been training her, I thought she was my 11 o'clock client, which is sad because this was like, this was supposed to have been like our fifth session. I should know how she looks at this point. I was like, why did you say anything? <laughs> and she said, oh, I just thought the other trainer wasn't here, so I was training with you. I was like, what? After 20 minutes or so, she says, you know, give me a second, I'm feeling sick, I need to go to the bathroom. So she was in there for quite a while, so I came out to the hallway just to make sure she was okay. She finally comes out of the bathroom and she looks really, like, really winded. And I was like, are you okay? And she was like, oh, like I need my inhaler. And I was like, where is it? And she says, it's, it's in my room. First of all, if you have asthma, this is just a side note, if you have asthma in your, personal, in your training, always have your inhaler. Anyway, so I was like, go grab it. I was like, do you need me to walk with you? Like, are you okay? She's like, I'm fine, I just need my inhaler. So I was like, okay, yeah, go, go, go get your inhaler. So we end the session pretty much like seven, six minutes early, no big deal. <laughs> Are you okay? And I'm sitting there in the hallway talking with my other, talking with the other staff. My boss is also in the hallway and she points out the window as I'm talking and there's like maybe five or six ambulance people walking up the sidewalk into the gym building area where the dorms are. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I wonder if they're here for that girl I just trained. <laughs> and I was like, what would be the chances? So I explained to my boss what happened and she was like, that's crazy. And I was like, I wonder if it's her. I was like, I would feel so bad if it's her. Um, anyway, so the, the people came back out of the gym, <clears throat> dorm area, um, cause they had a stretcher, um, but no one was in the stretcher. So I was like, okay, I guess everything's okay. Um, if it was a girl, obviously she needs to be taken away or anything like that. So um, about five minutes later, I'm still sitting in the hallway talking to the other staff. My boss points out the window again, and it's the girl I trained. She was being like, you know, like walked out with the with the other set of ambulance people walking down the sidewalk. And I was like, you are kidding me. First of all, I may, I, I'm training this girl who's not even my client, and then I send her to the freaking hospital. Like, granted, it was just the on-campus hospital. I felt so bad for, um, for one because I like to push my clients, I like to, you know, get them the results they want, but I don't want to make someone go to the hospital. Like, that's never my goal. And two, I should know how my clients look because here I am training someone who I know nothing about. I don't know her limitations. I don't know, you know, what she can't, like, I can't, I don't know anything about her. So that's just dangerous. Like, it's so risky. So I felt so bad. Anyway, my boss talked to, the RA who's over her dorm and she said, yeah, she's fine. She has asthma. She she has frequent asthma attacks, but she doesn't really carry her inhaler. So it's this is like an every, not an everyday occurrence, but it's a frequent, frequent occurrence. So it's just so crazy how that happened. I was just like, next time I'm going to study my, my, the, my client's faces. So I know that was just, that was to me so insane. Like what? What's up guys? It's um Wednesday. I didn't go to my Spanish class um, last well this this Monday because sometimes she just has class for like like literally like ten minutes and I just didn't feel like doing that because my nine AM professor she just had a baby so we haven't had class in the past week. And she's not back yet because she has a newborn. <laughs> so I didn't go to my 9 a.m. either. So I just told myself I'll just stay home until I have to go to work. But I figured today I might as well just get up <laughs> and go to go to class. Hopefully I'm asking the people in my class because we have a group text. If there's class today, no one knows. But it's 1020. I had to be there by 11. So I need to start going. What's up, guys? I'm at work. <clears throat> just finished up a client about 30 minutes ago. So I'm just eating. Uh, lunch, had a salad, and I don't have anyone until 3.30, so I have an hour break. 
someone's coming. What's up guys, it's Friday. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because I just didn't feel like it. But it is the end of the week and I'm actually at someone's house right now. This somebody is going to be washing and retwisting my hair because I, it's basically, to me, what this appointment is, it's almost like a checkup with the doctor just to kind of make sure everything's going all right with my hair. Since I have been maintaining it myself for the past few months, almost a year, a few months, more so months than a year. But um, someone I know recommended her to me. So I just want to make sure that I'm doing my hair properly because there are some things my hair, about my hair that are concerning me. So... The last time I went to, as you guys know, if you watch my other videos, the last time I went to a lock, a loctician, she just like jacked up my hair and just really scarred me. And I didn't want to go back to a, a loctician, but I wanted to go to someone who had good reviews. I'm nervous. I'm like super nervous. I just don't want her to. I, for for one, I don't want her to tell me. I don't want her to mess up my hair somehow. And two, I don't want her to tell me something bad about my hair, like oh you need to twist it more or you're not twisting it enough that's why it's looking like that or you know your scalp is breaking down i don't know you know but i'm just nervous this is how it looks before so hopefully she'll do a good job hey guys so i'm back home now obviously and i finished getting my hair done and i think it came out pretty okay um, I'm never a fan of my hair, like the first day is done. Um, I just don't like how clean and neat it looks. I like it to be a bit more rough. And I told her that before she twisted it, that I don't like it to look so tight and clean. So she didn't twi twist it as tight, which I do notice, which I do appreciate. Um, so um, yeah, I like it. And then we vibed really well. I told her my apprehension about going to um, a hair salon again to get my hair done just because of the bad experience I had last time she was very understanding and she actually looked at my hair and um, she gave me some recommendations so it was just a really good experience so I think I will be going to her more often as per you know per my per my wallet <laughs> what's up guys it's Saturday and I'm actually on the way out the door I'm going to my sister's apartment, my sister and her husband's apartment to go welcome her husband's mom who's coming into town. Uh, she's, I think she got in today or yesterday, but we're, me and my mom are going and other people are gonna be there too, like a mini gathering celebration or whatever. And yeah, so all day I've just been sitting around, but one thing I did do is make a banana bread. And I'll show you guys in a second, but <clears throat> it's for my brother's birthday, um, which is today. And he's not coming home till 6. He's off work at 6. So I don't think we'll see him when he gets back. But hopefully he won't look in the oven. <laughs> but I'm excited. What's up, guys? Saturday, April 18th, just got back in the house. It's late in the evening, I think it's close to 10 o'clock, and I am super stuffed right now. So now I have an extreme food belly. Um, I look like pregnant, <laughs> like it's just so big. OMG.